in the kingdom of Kururava, a virtuous and skilled ruler. His reign was marked by prosperity and adherence to dharma. Kururava possessed great beauty, intelligence and power, captivating the hearts of his subjects. His mastery of the four methods of warfare ensured his kingdom's stability. Amidst the prosperity and splendor of his reign, the celestial nymph Urvashi cast her eyes upon Pururava. Urvashi, a beautiful and enchanting Apsara, found herself irresistibly drawn to the king's extraordinary charm, his noble qualities and his boundless generosity. Consumed by her desire for him, Urvashi decided that Pururava was the perfect man to be her husband. Urvashi, however, carried a curse that compelled her to descend to the mortal realm. Seizing the opportunity, she approached Pururava with a contract wherein she entrusted him with the care of two young sheep. Urvashi made her expectations clear, stipulating that she would consume only ghee as her daily sustenance. Additionally, she requested that the king remain naked in her presence, except during their intimate moments. In return, Urvashi promised to remain with him and preserve his honor. Enthralled by Urvashi's captivating beauty and lured by the prospect of her companionship, Ururava readily agreed to the terms of the contract. Thus, Urvashi became his beloved wife and she stayed by his side, fulfilling her curse and passing the predetermined period in his kingdom. As the years passed, Ururava became deeply entangled in the love and affection he held for Urvashi. The bond between them grew stronger and he found himself unable to bear even a moment's separation from her. Neglecting his royal duties and the obligations of his dharma, the king devoted himself entirely to the pleasures of Urvashi's company. Their days were filled with blissful moments of intimacy and companionship and their nights were spent entwined in each other's arms. Ururava's infatuation with Urvashi reached such heights that he lost all sense of time and purpose, his mind consumed by her presence alone. His thoughts, his actions and his very being revolved solely around her. Meanwhile, in the celestial realms, Indra, the lord of the gods, began to notice the absence of Urvashi. The heavenly abode, known as Nandana Garden, seemed bereft of all beauty and joy without her graceful presence. Filled with longing, Indra called upon the Gandharvs, celestial musicians and beings and instructed them to bring Urvashi back to the heavenly realm at any cost. The Gandharvs, under the command of Vishwavasu and other gods, descended to the earthly realm where Ururava and Urvashi resided. Knowing that the opportune moment had arrived, they stealthily entered the king's palace under the cover of darkness. It was during one such night, while Pururava and Urvashi were engaged in their intimate union, that the Gandharvs seized the opportunity to carry out their mission. In the midst of their passionate embrace, the Gandharvs swiftly and silently snatched away the two young sheep entrusted to Pururava. The innocent animals cried out piteously, their desperate pleas reaching Urvashi's ears. Mistaking their cries for the anguished pleas of her own beloved children, she turned to Pururava, her eyes filled with anger and sorrow. She berated the king, accusing him of failing to protect their cherished offspring. Urvashi lamented the supposed loss of their beloved sheep, whom she held dearer than her own life. In her anguish, she denounced Pururava as an impotent and boastful man, incapable of living up to his own claims of prowess. The contract they had agreed upon had been broken, and Urvashi declared that she would immediately leave him and depart from his life. Grief-stricken and desperate to rectify his perceived failure, Ururava, with his senses clouded by his emotions, acted without rational thought. Without any consideration for his own dignity or the consequences of his actions, he rushed after the Gandharvs, completely naked, in pursuit of the stolen sheep. In response to the king's pursuit, the Gandharvs illuminated the room with flashes of lightning. Urvashi, witnessing Pururava's naked form, felt a mix of emotions, shock, disappointment and a sense of betrayal. The theft of the sheep had revealed her husband's vulnerability, 
leaving her disenchanted and disillusioned. As the Gandharvas departed, leaving the two young sheep behind, Kururva returned to his palace, weary and depleted, still in his naked state. Kurvashi, her faith in him shattered, resolved to leave the mortal realm and ascend once again to the heavenly abode. Witnessing his beloved wife's departure, Kururva's heart was filled with immense sorrow and anguish. He wailed inconsolably, his soul pierced by the agony of losing Kurvashi. Bewildered and overcome by grief, he wandered endlessly through various lands, unable to find solace. Lost in a hedge of despair and consumed by the grief of Urvashi's departure, Kururva wandered across the globe in search of solace. His heart, heavy with sorrow, cried out for the lost love that had once brought him boundless joy. Kurukshetra, a sacred land renowned for its spiritual significance, became his destination during his forlorn journey. In Kurukshetra, a place teeming with cosmic energy and divine vibrations, fate intervened to grant Pururva a glimpse of hope. As he roamed the hallowed grounds, his eyes fell upon Urvashi, standing before him like a radiant vision. Overwhelmed with emotion, the king's face lit up with joy as he pleaded with her to stay, assuring her of his unwavering devotion and the innocence of his heart. With a mixture of compassion and disappointment, Urvashi addressed Pururva, reminding him of his once extraordinary knowledge and wisdom. She urged him to remember the inherent nature of women, comparing their love to that of a wolf, which cannot be tamed or restricted. Urvashi cautioned Pururva against placing blind trust in both women and thieves, emphasizing the transient and fickle nature of human emotions. Though her words brought a semblance of clarity to Pururava's clouded mind, his heart remained shackled by his love for Urvashi. The pain of her departure continued to torment him, refusing to grant him respite or consolation. He remained ensnared by the enchantment of their past love, unable to break free from its grip. Urvashi, having fulfilled her part of the contract, possessed the freedom to ascend to the heavenly realm, her purpose on earth now completed. While her departure held a finality to their earthly union, it was not without a sense of compassion for the king's suffering. Urvashi urged Pururva to return to his palace and embrace the pleasures and responsibilities of his kingdom, advising him to let go of his sorrows and the futile pursuit of a love that could no longer be. As Urvashi vanished from his sight, ascending back to the celestial abode, Ururva stood there, crestfallen yet with a glimmer of realization dawning within him. He slowly comprehended the wisdom in Urvashi's words, recognizing the futility of his relentless pursuit and the need to reclaim his own sense of purpose. With a heavy heart, but now unburdened by the weight of his unattainable love, Ururva retraced his steps to his palace. He recommitted himself to his duties as a king, taking solace in the fulfillment and responsibilities of his role. Though the memories of Urvashi remained etched in his heart, he learned to reconcile with the loss and find contentment in the realm of mortal existence. Pururava's journey served as a lesson in love, desire and the impermanence of worldly attachments. He grew to understand that the pursuit of love alone however intense and passionate, could not sustain him. Through the pain and longing, he discovered the resilience of the human spirit, finding strength in reclaiming his purpose and embracing the present moment. And so, the tale of Pururava and Urvashi, a story of enchantment, passion and eventual acceptance, became a legend that echoed through the ages, reminding humanity of the transient nature of love and the profound lessons it imparts. Please subscribe and watch more such videos on my channel Fables Beyond Time. Thanks for watching.